Hello Capricorn, welcome to Soul Diamond. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into your reading. This is going to be blessings that you're manifesting at the current moment. So we're gonna see what blessings are coming your way. We're gonna leave it up to spirit on whatever it is that you need to hear at this moment in time. So let's go ahead and tap into your energy, Capricorn. This is for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And actually, before I start your reading, I do want to do a little bit of book divination. Let me just shuffle these cards because I wasn't going to do it, but I'm being called to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that book divination thing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not going to show you the card yet, but oh my god, this is beautiful. I love this. All right. So let me go ahead and do that book divination really quick. So this is your birthday. Um divination basically it's going to be based off of birthdays of course i'm not going to go through every single capricorn uh, birthday but i'll go through the ones i come across like this one january 9th okay so if you were born january 9th you are the day of the ambition let me see what you can see here really quick okay you can see pretty well so uh, your tarot card is the hermit. So I feel like you maybe for some of you like to keep to yourself for the most part. Um, I do feel like you have a certain aspect of you that does like to go out and be social and stuff though. So I don't feel like you're completely isolated, but you'd rather be alone or you'd rather just keep a lot of things to yourself. I feel like a lot of you can benefit a lot from meditating. Um, and I feel like you're very wise and mature. People may look up to you. Yeah. Like your faith, you're, you're probably into spirituality already. If you're not, maybe this is something you'd like to explore with this um, with this that I see here. Um, exploring spirituality for you can actually bring about a lot of answers that you didn't know were there, basically. Um, but with strengths here, resilient, purposeful, and resourceful, that's your, um, those are your strengths. So you are a very resilient person. Um, you, you deal, I feel like you deal with other people's problems and your problems and like you have more than enough to give to others but this can be really draining as well so maybe this is why you like to spend time by yourself because at the end of the day i feel like you do help people but like at the same time it's like you need to recover from all the help that you do or all the energy work you do for other people um if you are in your shadow aspect you are controlling and flexible and stressed so I feel like it can be easy for you to get into that type of energy because I feel like for some of you, you're definitely like very wise or you're an old soul or you're a, you're a, a star seed empath or something like that. For those born on this day, they are capable of applying great pressure to bend others to that will. Furthermore, they have a knack for recognizing opportunities and rarely, if ever, miss a chance to better their situation. So yeah, you're like really resilient, like you put up with a lot. You you have the ability to like kind of get through a lot in life. I really love this. So let's go ahead and move forward to January 18th. So this is the day of the childlike fancy. I'm getting a lot of um childlike energy coming from you or kind of dreamy um almost even um yeah like a lot of sensitivity like maybe you're you're a little bit emotionally um i don't want to say emotionally immature because you got number nine so these are very resilient numbers or really it's a really enduring number number nine so i do feel like at the end of the day you may you may be very emotional but you are also very deep and wise so people look up to you um here we get meditation is the playfulness of the universe is reflected in the dance of the stars so for those born January 18th, must be aware of their tendency to live in a dream world. So yeah, it's like you're really dreamy. I'm getting a lot of watery energy. Even though you're not a Pisces, you may have Pisces heavily in your chart. Um, but I do get a sense like you you have the... Ooh, check this out. So you have the ability to subconsciously... Um, like you can easily... Oh gosh, you can tap in either to Akashic Records or your like just your deep subconscious like it's easily accessed, um, especially if you draw or you paint or you do anything like that, like you can tap into that creative artistic side of you because you're just so deep and intense and you're something about your subconscious, like you're able to kind of like what takes people years to figure out, like you can easily tap into that type. I know that's not a message for everybody, but it's definitely something that I see in you if you were born on this day. Um, so th there is a lot, a sense of like fantasy. You may be into 
Ooh. Yeah, like for some of you, if you've never tried mushrooms, I've never personally, well, I have tried mushrooms, but not like, not like, they were literally, I, I'm, well, I'm not even going to go into that story, but if you've never tried mushrooms or any kind of psychedelics, like, I don't know, mind, uh, for you it says to avoid them because uh, honestly, because you're probably, like I said, you're probably already, your mind is already really like expanded. Like I'm saying, it's like you you can be very spiritual already or very, very psychic. And so, like, tapping into hallucinogens and stuff can probably fuck with your psyche, too. So, that's crazy. Okay. You need to stay grounded, for sure. Like, you need to try to stay really grounded. Um, I'm going to tap into one more. December 21st. 31st. The day of the aesthetic promotion. So, your card is the emperor. So, I'm getting strong type of um, Capricorn energy, okay? Um, you should be careful of consuming too much alcohol, sugar, and caffeine. Because this this can ultimately alter your like alter ego or it'll let like it'll just put you in like the wrong state of mind or the it'll it won't help you. Um but here with strengths, it's appreciative, tasteful, and idealistic. So tapping into your light attributes, right? Um your shadow attributes are all knowing, opinionated, and fixed. So it being too um forceful, I guess is what I'm getting, because you, you have like a strong um I'm getting anger issues too, um, but see to the world, to see the world more clearly, we may need to take off our glasses. But you're very stable though. That's the thing with you. Like if you wanted to tap into your power, you can really just um, like set your goal, set the site, and then you can like achieve what you want. Like you can even become millionaires um, in this lifetime because you're you have Jupiter here that influences your fourth house. So, like, I feel like if you were to work together, like, with a partner, you don't have to be with a partner, but as long as you set strong boundaries for yourself, then you can be able to reach your goals and get to where you need to be because you're very, you're this emperor energy where you're very, um, you reach your goals, you reach whatever goals you have or whatever you write down, like, you can attain this stuff, like, you promote yourself, like, you, you because, oh, ooh, I, you're probably really sexy or really handsome, I'm getting masculine, um, but I'm also, if you're feminine, then I'm just getting a really, um, a, a really strong feminine energy where, um, you're really beautiful. Like you take care of yourself really well. You dress to impress and, and like in business situations or in social situations, this is what makes you stand out. People appreciate this about you because you're always putting your best foot forward. Like, yeah, like, damn, you're powerful. Like you're, you can be really, you like for some of you, like you can be a strong businesswoman or you'd be good at that. All right, so Capricorn, let's go ahead and flip. So here we get peace, okay? So something you're manifesting into your life is a lot of peace, a lot of harmony and abundance, okay? I feel harmony and abundance go hand in hand. But with harmony and contentment here, you're manifesting like tranquility, okay? I feel like maybe this new year, you just want to have a more peaceful life. For some of you, maybe it's because you overwork. For others of you, maybe it's because you've been in chaotic relationships or in situationships that just didn't serve you very well so you're trying to find a peace of mind you're trying to be just more gentle with yourself i'm getting like you're slowing down like you're slowing everything down from being all over the place or being here and there at the same time or multitasking even like you're learning to just center your energy and be more um at one with yourself and your higher self i'm getting that you're becoming more spiritual like you're trying to do things differently than you usually do uh for some of you i do have a, a, a strong sense like a materialism materialism was something that was very important in your life and then now you're going more to like spirituality or you're becoming more more in tune with um, your inner self where you know you don't really need anything and you're kind of really content with what you have but this is what's going to ultimately bring you more of that abundance is you being happy with you know you being satisfied with your life and being happy with what you have um, the next card you get is manifestation what you desire it's on its way so guys this is just a strong indicator from spirit that whatever you're manifesting whatever it is that you've been wanting for a long time 
It could be anything. It's on its way because you have learned to accept life for what it is. I'm also getting, you haven't had, for some of you, you haven't had the best life or you have had a really tough time learning lessons and stuff like that or just figuring yourself out. It's just been, because Capricorns, you guys can be, um, I, I know a lot of people who have strong Capricorn placements. Um, most of my family members have strong Capricorn placements. So you, I feel like you can have a tendency of just, um not not knowing what your emotions really are i guess it just depends on where where you where you have capricorn placements at but i still feel like either way capricorns you you guys can have just a very tough you have it really tough eh? like nothing nothing comes easy to you so i do feel like you've learned to accept certain things of your life and this is what's going to bring a lot of abundance and whatever it is that you're manifesting into your life um it's going to come very very soon yeah, look, Nine of Cups, a dream, a wish fulfillment, a fantasy. Um, like I said, some of you or one of you, you guys live in fantasy land or you guys do like to tap into that like Pisces type of vibe because you probably do have Pisces in your chart, but you like to fantasize about um, your... Oh, for some of you, this just came through as a channel message. You guys had a dream about something you're going to get. You're going to get something or you're going to win something or you're going to... I don't think it's winning. I think it's more like you're manifesting. Yeah, you're manifesting something, but you had a dream about this. And it's something really beautiful. I feel like it's elegant or expensive. Or something you've been wanting since you were a child. So can I get um what Capricorn is manifesting at this moment in time, please? What is Capricorn manifesting at this moment in time? What does Capricorn need to know about their manifestations and what is coming in for them for this new year and beyond, I guess? Let's see. So here we get the Ace of Cups. Wow. So you are attracting a romantic partner who's going to be like completely, either completely opposite from what you've ever had. This romantic partner is going to be like a cup of tea. Like they are either going to like to talk a lot or they're going to like share a lot of deep and personal information with you. Like they're going to be really open, really expressive, really beautiful. They're really going to be like a free spirit. Um, and I feel like it's different for some of you guys. It is a Pisces or an air sign. Um, you guys, this person that you're going to meet, they are going to teach you a whole different side of love of relationships they are gonna be like a fresh cup of i'm getting like ice cold water on a hot sunny day like this person is gonna be really oh they're gonna be oh yes okay so oh my gosh guys i when this card popped up like immediately like before i even saw the card i got that type of energy where they're gonna be like very sexually attractive like they are gonna be very irresistible. Like you're gonna, you you cannot, you're not gonna be able to resist this person. Like even if you wanted to, because of the energy they put off. But it's also because of their their. I don't know why I wanted to say hormones. It's more like a. Oh, oh just oh god! It's their emotions. It's their emotions that you're gonna be attracted to. You. This may be something that puts you off at first. You're gonna be like, I don't want that, but. Like once you get to know this person and you see how vulnerable they are and how like beautiful and and deep and how loving and caring and like just mushy. I'm getting like a teddy bear, but at the same time, they are going to like drip with fucking sexual energy. Oh my God. I'm getting a strong. Okay. This person probably will have heavy Scorpio because obviously this Scorpio card came out. But this is also like Scorpio in the 8th house. Because when you have Scorpio in the 8th house, that's like a deep sexual attraction. Like they are going to be so sexually attractive to you. They're going to make you open up in ways that you've never really opened up before. So if this is something you're, you've been wanting. It's definitely on the way. For others of you, you're just manifesting like a job and a career that you are... It's going to... Something is going to like go from zero to a hundred. It, it feels like... But it doesn't feel like that type of quick. It feels like it's been something you've been wanting for a while or working for for a while as well. But it's like almost like from one day to another, it like something's going to change for you dramatically. 
Okay, so I feel like you're you may be manifesting for big changes, you know, a move. Maybe some of you guys are moving. Some of you guys are learning to tap into your light attributes. For those of you that have your light attributes, you're learning to tap into your dark attributes where you're you're working with your shadow to get what you want. And this this may feel or sound a little bit manipulative, but it's not because it's just standing in your own power. And I do feel like it's something that you've been working on and something that you need to do um, in order to like free yourself or find more peace and in order to manifest into this. If you're a feminine, I do feel like you need to tap into your shadow side, a healthy shadow attributes. Um, you got to look into healthy shadow attributes for feminines or like divine feminine power because... This is like tapping into your sexuality, but it's not like a unhealthy way. It's a it's from a place of heal, like a healing, like you've already healed. You know what I mean? Yeah, dope. I I like it. So let's go ahead and get a couple more cards here of what you're manifesting. You you do want big changes in your life, and I feel like these big changes will be coming to you in twenty twenty two. There's gonna be a lot of changes for you, um, but especially in relationships. Okay, I feel like this doesn't have to be romantic. It can be also platonic and friends. Yeah, you're gonna learn to open up yourself in ways that you never really have, and you're gonna learn to express yourself. For others of you, this is going to be about building a relationship with yourself and with your higher self. Like I said, a more spiritual side of you that maybe you've never really tapped into to you never really seen or you're just going to start doing things that are going to be a lot more um spiritually open or or something like that like tapped into your higher self like you're going to be a lot more patient a lot more peaceful like i'm telling you you're going through a huge transformation a huge glow up for sure look at this the six of hedgehogs i like this card it's like to me it feels really secure it feels like safe a safety to be honest, it feels safety. And then look at the back of the deck energy for this. You are safe and I'm getting like tingles all over. So this is spirit definitely wanting me to tell you like you're going to feel a lot safer in relationships. Uh, I'm getting for some of you, you dealt with abusive relationships. And, and if you have, I'm sorry about that. Like you do not deserve to be treated in any type of abuse, especially not psychological I'm getting for some of you, it was just psychological abuse, which is horrible. That's probably one of the worst types of abuse because even though some people like, um, I'm very compassionate. I've dealt with psychological abuse. So the thing is people usually do it subconsciously. Like they don't even know they're doing it. You know, most people are asleep. Um, and, and it, um, it's unfortunate. It really is because you can have compassion for this person, but it doesn't mean you have to keep them in your life. And it doesn't mean that you have to put up with any of their abuse. And ultimately, um, they're going to have to deal with the fact that they've lost you. Because I do feel like there's going to be someone who's going to be really upset because they've lost you. And the reason they've lost you is due to the fact that they weren't able to reciprocate the energy that you were willing to give to them. Because I feel like you're very deep or you were very... Um, you're very open-hearted or you're very kind very loving um heart emotions intuition here yeah you're very intuitive too like you're really deep so you need someone who matches your type of energy and i do feel like the people in the past that you've dealt with they've never really tapped into that so you're learning to set yourself free and be more open-minded you're learning to be more optimistic you're learning to just um, set yourself free from patterns that you know you've probably been stuck in for a long time this can even be patterns that were passed down from your mother or your father like if you grew up in that type of um, family dynamic where it was kind of unhealthy i don't know i'm just channeling right now guys but with the six, six of hedgehogs this is um i'm telling you what's changing for you is reciprocity i hope i said that correctly it's reciprocity because the relationships coming in are going to be like a huge change for you. I do feel like you've always poured into your own cup and you've overflowed other people's cups as well. And and it, it's almost like your cup ended up empty because you were giving so much to other people. Yeah, the moon. So others of you, you're, lear you're learning to explore a deeper side of you that, like I said, you've never really seen. It almost feels a little bit creepy. 
because at the end of the day, um, like I said, you were giving to relationships that were not fulfilling. And so spirit wants you to know that uh, from this point forward, to be honest, this is just what came out this point forward. You're going to start to see relationships be a lot more um, charismatic. I don't know why that came through. Very, maybe you're very charismatic or someone around you is. And that's what you're going to start to notice in people, like people being charismatic. Um, but this change has to happen within you first, okay? So as soon as you start to make these changes for yourself, then the, the balance in relationships around you are going to show. Because this comes from a place of self-love. There's something, maybe for some of you, um, this doesn't have to be for everybody, but there was a lack of self-love. A lack of self-love and so this made your relationships really unbalanced but what's coming in for you now is balanced relationships and for some of you like love if this is something that you really want like you're gonna have a couple people interested in you I do see that here um, for some of you it's three people so you're gonna have like a choice especially if you're single and stuff even if you're not single and if you're in a relationship you're gonna end up leaving someone behind to find something that's more fulfilling uh, for those of you maybe you're gonna decide to keep your options open in love and just date around for a while that's something i'm seeing as well but the relationship aspect of of your life is going to complete transform 360 you're going to attract these more peaceful beautiful relationships into your life and it's because you subconsciously are doing this um most definitely subconsciously and i love the death card because the death right i see i see it as i see it as like you know like it's the Grim Reaper. She comes in and she takes out everything that you don't need. And she makes room for what you do need. And I feel like maybe you've already been going through some type of transformation where you've been getting rid of things. Like, you sometimes you do this subconsciously. Like, you'll want to get rid of things that you no longer need. I got makeup. Like, you may be clearing out your makeup. You may be clearing out your closet. You may be clearing out your shoes. I don't know what you're doing, but subconsciously you're already doing this. And this one thing leads to another. It's like you're cleaning out your closet and the next thing before you know it, you're cleaning out your fucking career and then you're cleaning out the people around you and you're leaving people behind. And this is what makes room for like this growth and this blessing to come in. But this is all I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you claim it down below and leave... Um, a comment, um, a subscribe, you know, stay here if you really liked it. And if you didn't like it, then just thumbs down. No biggie. I don't mind at all. I'll talk to you guys next time or at your other readings. Bye for now.